How long can you store seeds? Now, that is a great question, and if you ask most people, they'll probably tell you anywhere from about two years to five years. Which, you know, that works good in most situations, but what happens if you want to store seeds for a lot longer than that? Now, I've basically come up with a three-part method of storing seeds, and this is based on seed storage vaults that are these underground bunkers located in these super cold parts of the world, and basically the goal is to store seeds essentially forever just in case of a catastrophic event that wipes out a lot of our plants. So there's, like I said, there's three parts to this. The first part is you want to keep seeds dry. Second part is you want to keep them dark. And the third part is you want to keep them cold. Now, like I said, the first part of storing seeds is keeping them dry. So we can do this through a couple different ways. The first one is through desiccant. Now, this stuff right here is also known as silica gel. It's basically the stuff that you get in food packets. That um, It's like a little packet of stuff that says do not eat. Basically what it does is it absorbs moisture from the air. Uh, secondly, we want an airtight container. Now, I'm using a mason jar, um, but you can also use stuff such as ammo cans, I don't know, old coffee containers, anything that forms an airtight seal. Um, I like to stay away from plastic because plastic has a tendency to warp, in which case it won't be airtight anymore. And thirdly, I store my seeds inside of paper um, rather than plastic. And the reason I do this is because these little paper envelopes are breathable. So if for some reason when I dried out my seeds, they were still a little bit moist, when I'm going to set them in the desiccant there, it will actually suck out any existing moisture from the seeds and keep them extremely dry. Now the second part to this is keeping seeds dark. And again, I can do this through a couple ways. Now I use a mason jar, like I said, but this isn't just any mason jar. Um, if you notice, it's amber colored. And the point of that is amber uh, blocks out about 99% of UV rays. And UV rays are damaging to seeds, just like if you were to go outside and stand in the sun for a while, you'd get a sunburn. And the same thing will happen to seeds. If they're exposed to too many UV rays, they'll actually damage the DNA of the seed, and it will make it so they won't sprout anymore. So I use... Like I said, I use these amber mason jars, which block out about 99% of light. Um, but any sort of an opaque container would work really well. So anything that uh, doesn't allow light in, specifically UV light. Now another step of blocking light is we're actually going to be storing our seeds in this container inside of the freezer or refrigerator. Um, and we're, we're going to store it in the very, very back, which doesn't get much light, especially when the door is closed. So it's going to stay extremely, extremely dark for these seeds. Now the third step is keeping things cold. So like I said before, we're going to store this container inside of the refrigerator or freezer. So again, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now if you do store it in the freezer, you want to be extra sure that your seeds are completely dry. Uh, because what will happen is if they're still a little bit wet and you put it in the freezer, ice crystals will form and it will destroy the seeds. So what I normally like to do is... When I put new seeds in this container, I'll store it in the refrigerator for about a week and then move it to the freezer. Now, to do this method, the first step is to take your lid off and put desiccant into your container. Now, I'll have a link to Amazon of where I bought this desiccant. Uh, I think it was like $20 on Amazon. Um, and you can actually get cheaper containers uh, that are smaller, but I wanted a nice big container because I use a lot of it. All right, so I have maybe an inch, maybe a little bit less than an inch of desiccant on the bottom there. So what this will do is as there's any moisture in the jar, these little beads will suck up that moisture and it'll keep the relative humidity in here um, about 2 to 3%, which is extremely dry. Um, even where I live in the desert, it still stays around 10 to 15%. So 2 to 3% is extremely, extremely dry and it's pretty hard to replicate that. Uh, without more expensive equipment. And then after we fill our container with desiccant, we will take our seeds and just pop them right in there. Just like that. Now if you have more seeds, you can obviously use multiple containers or use a bigger container, such as like an ammo can. So anyways, there my seeds are. And then we're going to screw the lid on. 
just like that. And then all that's left to do is place it in a back corner of our refrigerator or freezer, which will keep it cold and it'll slow down the cellular processes. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all learned something. And please leave a like and a comment letting me know what you thought of this idea, um, and especially if you have any other improvements that you could make on top of this. So thank you guys so much, and if you guys could subscribe, I will see you next time. Bye.